It is finally time for some more Antweight Combat Robots. The Illinois Bot Brawl is this Saturday, so I have five days to build a bunch of robots because I cannot just show up with our the best or nothing joke robot that we've made. So I've got to get the, uh, the Crave Monster back up and running, and I have to finish the drum spinner ant weight that I've been working on for a while now but I finished it about like a month ago and then I tried it and it self-destructed and now I'm going back and I'm replacing a bunch of components and I'm doing it differently so I'll cover what I'm doing with this one now and hopefully I'm able to get this stuff all wrapped up uh, basically this week it's been a busy summer so I'm just now getting to it at the end of the summer So this is what I have and you'll notice it looks basically the same as what I had two months ago. But there is some progress and some changes that have been made. The chassis is now SLS 3D printed. Originally I had this FDM ABS, now it's nylon, it'll be more durable. And this, uh, this had to be replaced because I broke the original chassis. I turned it on and I made the exact same mistake that I made last year. The axle worked its way out. And so the drum was free to bounce around, and when the drum bounced around, it tossed the metal wedge off the front, and it also broke this carbon supporting rod here and snapped the brace off on this side. So I decided to throw this away, print a new one. New one's a lot better, and I'm switching to a dead axle. So the axle will not spin. It will be firmly attached to either side of the mounts. It'll form another brace for this chassis, so the whole thing will be stiffer and the bushings will go on the drum now and so the drum will spin around the shaft and uh, I'm still sticking with this thin steel shaft because the bushings I have pair with it. If I, uh, had, if I was to do this all over again and buy all new parts I'd go with a larger diameter rod but I'm gonna cross my fingers with that. Now the electronics and everything also look the same but they are all different the drive motors are 200 RPM instead of 100 RPM because I wasn't happy with the speed that the uh, prototype was going. The weapon motor is larger and the speed controller is different. I was having problems with the original weapon motor and I just replaced it all with parts that I had on my remote control airplane and I knew would work well. The, uh, the wiring for some of this stuff has been redone because my soldering was slightly shitty and it's better now, hopefully. Fingers crossed, uh, mechanical, not electrical. Two more changes that I also wanted to mention. Uh, the teeth of the drum, which were originally these bolts, I'm replacing with these flat uh, cap screws, which should have extra bite. One of you guys in the comments mentioned that that should, uh, that should be done to improve the bite of the drum. I agreed, I'm going with these. The problem is, is it's been a pain in the ass to remove the original teeth. They were JB welded on, and I've got one last stubborn bolt that I've been grinding at trying to get out so I can replace the tooth but eventually I'll get that and the teeth will be replaced. Another thing is the armor. I went with carbon fiber armor which looks very cool but is not actually great for combat robots. It tends to be brittle. The reason I used it is I had a lot of surface area to cover and I needed something that was light and stiff and carbon fiber fit the bill. The uh, corners are shape lock plastic they look a little jankier than they actually are. They actually seem to hold this together quite well. I um, can't really show it here, but it is uh, not really gonna fail at the joints as far as I predict. We will see how this design does on Saturday. Hopefully it gets completed and we can, we can observe how it does. It's a little bit unusual to have an ant weight with an active weapon that's this large and this not dense basically. So hopefully I have enough weight to actually add the armor and thank you for watching these shaky cam videos with commentary just pointing at things on a desk. It's not the best format I know but it's an easy way for me to quickly document these robotics projects without spending hours and hours editing and stuff. So thank you, appreciate the support and I will have a video up sometime this weekend on how this does.